Thank you. How are you? Mm -hmm. okay, the American record holder uh, indoors, 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 indoors and outdoors. We have a world championship uh, indoor medal. You go into Rio to chance to fill that one spot in your resume, the Olympic medal. Exactly. Tell us about your thoughts. Can you do it? Um, it feels really good today out here. I just wanted to do like a Olympic prelim just to see what it felt like. It felt so easy, and I didn't. I kind of expected it, but it felt easy. So I think that I'll be ready seven weeks. Just keep training, fine tune things, and I think that um, we may be able to see a sweep in the podium. It's a moment of up, ups and downs. Tell us, walk us through when you were watching Vashdai jump her third attempt at 195, mm -hmm. followed by her. Her clearance there, her clearance mm -hmm. of 197, and then the pressure was on you. Take us through that up and down roller coaster. To be honest with you, um, this I've taken a completely different approach this year. What she jumped was independent of what my goals were. So honestly, I didn't care what she jumped or Nika or anybody else. It was more about me, and I wanted to come out here and do my personal best. The best I jumped this year was 196 to come out here and jump 201. And I felt like I could go a lot higher, but it, it was just like, I've made it, let's stop, let's, let's shut it down and get ready for the um, Olympic Games. You're the grand lady of the high jump. You're all of 32 <laughs> years old. You said you trained your butt off. Tell us what that was like getting ready for this weekend. Um, it was completely different. Normally I had, um, I used to co um, train down in Atlanta. Um, we had to move because my daughter, um, was having different issues. They, they suspected that she either had autism or Asperger's. So we had to go move down to Florida to go get her some help. And that's really what you guys were seeing last year where I went to Beijing and no hide it. It wasn't that I was no longer able, it was that I put my children first. And I really had to take the time and make sure that my daughter got right. She got the help that she's needed. I'm proud to announce that she's been kicked out of the special needs program. So next year she's going to kindergarten. And I was able to focus so much more easily now, every day. Um, I don't know if you guys know Ryan Hall. He did the faith-based training where he just really relied on God to tell him what, what he needed to do every day. That's what I did in my coaching this year. It was me and the Lord out there on that apron. My husband was out there helping me. and. It turned out really well, and so now we're halfway through. The next stop is Rio, and the last stop is that podium. Shante, how old are your kids? My kids are eight, five, and two. Names with the ages? Um, Jasmine is eight, Aurora is five, and Mario Josiah is two. Now, are they all here? Or? Oh, no. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are on vacation. This has been tremendous. We slept uh, so much. <laughs> it was great. I think my husband's been sleeping 13 hours a day. So. Um, it, it's been really good. We're taking a break from them. They're at the beach having fun, and we're out here doing work. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Tonight? Yes, now green tapes or anything like that. You know what? To be honest with you, I'm not celebrating yet because this wasn't my goal. My goal is on that podium. Have you taken children to Rio? No, I'm not going to take them to Rio because that's when mommy's at work. So I tell people, they're like, are you going to take them? Like, well, would you take your kids to work? <laughs> so. Can you show us your medal and tell us what it means to you? Oh, show my what? What does it mean to you, this medal? This medal um, means everything to me. It, it may very well be my last Olympic Games. I see, uh, obviously, a changing of the guard in the high jump. And um, I'm going there to get my medal. Obviously, I'll do world championships and stuff like that for the next couple years. But I don't see myself going to the next Olympics. So making this fourth team and being as strong as I've ever been before going into that team, I, I, I feel like this is everything to me. Nine-time national champion. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it was 11. <laughs> Shante, how did it feel with all the attention going on to the newcomer? Um, I didn't feel overlooked because I really don't like a lot of attention, but at the same time, I, 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 it hurt a little bit to feel like forgotten so quickly. And um, I didn't like that when I would read articles, instead of talking about how great that she is, I felt like it was a bashing of me a lot of times. And, and I think in the beginning of the year that hurt. And to, for, no, for nobody to really know and understand what went into why I know hide it last year and why I had a hard time. But I talked to my sponsors and I let them know and they said, look, don't worry about it. You just train and then when you come out, then you tell your story. And so I, I think that she's a tremendous girl. I think that if reporters didn't try to pit us against each other, there's a lot of knowledge that I have that could help her have longevity in her career. And so I think that that's really what I would like to see in the future because I like her and I think she's a great girl and she's definitely the future of high jump. And I want to see America continuously bring home those high jump medals, but it's not going to be easy if they keep pitting us against each other. Last question here, she's going to do the press conference. Okay.